Welcome to this 30 minute flowing vinyasa yoga practice. My name is Betty and I will be your guide today. Let's begin standing on our mat, feet a short distance apart. And if it's accessible, fanning your toes out a little bit and feeling the feet grounding on the earth. Soften the shoulders from the ears. Maybe find a little bend in the knees. The feet are easily grounded into the mat. Our knees are a little bent and shoulders dropping from the ears. Perhaps beginning with the breath, if it's accessible and feels good, you might take an inhale breath deep into the belly. Thinking about filling the collarbones all the way up to the top of the lungs here and exhale, easy release. Inhale into the abdomen, filling the lungs all the way up to the collarbones. And exhale, easy release out. Maybe one more breath in a way that feels comfortable for you today. A little easy movement through the neck. We'll drop right ear to right shoulder. I'll mirror you today. Inhale, breath here. Exhale, allow your chin to roll to your chest. Roll left ear to left shoulder. Take an inhale breath here. When and if it's accessible. And exhale, chin to chest. Let's continue to take a few half neck rolls side to side here, using your breath to guide the pace of your movement, inhaling to one side and exhaling, allowing the chin to fall toward the chest. If it feels good, maybe take one more easy neck roll side to side at your own pace with your own breath today. Gently allow the chin to fall to the chest if you're taking those neck rolls and then lifting the chin so you're gazes forward once again. I'll invite you to take some shoulder rolls. Inhale the shoulders forward and up. Exhale back and down, feeling an opening through the front of the chest perhaps. Inhale shoulders forward and up. Exhale back and down. And as best you can, inviting whatever sensation may or may not be here as you roll the shoulders. Maybe one more or two more shoulder rolls, allowing the breath once again to guide the pace of your movement. And when you're ready, finishing up one more shoulder roll and allowing the palms to roll forward to the space in front of you. Inhale, if it feels good, stretching the arms wide and high overhead as is comfortable today. We're taking a lean to one side. I'll invite you to drop your right arm down to the side and take a lean over to the right. Easy side stretch. Inhale center, hands stretch skyward as high as feels comfortable. Exhale, maybe a lean the other way, this time dropping the left arm and leaning to the left. Inhale, center, hand skyward. Exhale, a lean to the right, maybe dropping the bottom arm for some support here. Inhale, center, hand skyward. Exhale, and a lean, an easy side bend stretch. Inhale, center. Exhale, lean to the first side, allowing the breath to guide you as is possible and as feels good. Inhale, center, exhale, and lean. I'm just being here with the sensations that arise or may not be arising here in this side bend movement as we flow side to side. Let's even out both sides here. Inhale, the hands skyward as high as feels comfortable. And exhale, float the hands to the sides. Pause here. And I'll invite you to find a 
chair pose by sitting the hips back into an imaginary chair, maybe resting the hands on the tops of the thighs today. Take a peek, you wanna see your toes over your knees. If you don't see your toes, you might think about drawing the shins gently back until you see those toes. You want your femur bones, the bones in the upper leg to be parallel in this chair pose. And then maybe a lift of the heart, soft shoulders away from the ears and maybe lift the gaze so you're looking forward in front of you. Take an inhale and an exhale breath in this chair pose. And then press back up to standing our mountain pose. Palms rolling forward, standing tall, stretching the crown of the head skyward. Let's add some flow to this and breath. Inhale the hands wide and overhead as high as feels comfortable. Exhale, sit down into your chair pose of choice, your chair pose today. <sighs> Inhale, stay. I'll invite you to stay here in this chair if you like. And exhale, move out to mountain if you haven't moved out of chair already. And again, if you like, I'll invite you to inhale, float the hands wide overhead as high as is comfortable or feels accessible today. Exhale, sit back into your chair, heart lifted, shoulders softening from the ear. Inhale, maybe stay in chair for a breath and exhale to mountain pose. Inhale the hands wide overhead if that feels good. Exhale, if you choose, sitting into your chair pose. Inhale, you might stay here, resting softly in chair. And exhale to mountain pose. You might choose to flow a few more times with me here. Inhale, hands wide overhead. Exhale, sinking back to chair. Inhale, you might stay. And exhale, mountain pose. Maybe one more. Inhale, hands wide overhead. Exhale, sink into your chair pose. Inhale, you might stay. And exhale to mountain pose. Pause here. If you are using a mat today, I'll invite you to step two one front edge of your mat, a short side of your mat. And we'll add on to that series. Inhale, sweep the hands high and wide overhead, mountain pose. Exhale, sink down into your chair pose and pause here in chair. The right foot will stay, right foot will stay, and the left foot will step back one or several steps until we can rotate that back foot and plant the foot down on the mat, setting up for a warrior two. So you might find you need to heel toe your feet wider or closer together for comfort. Check in, you want your front knee aligned over your front ankle, back leg long and active and your back foot can be angled slightly inward or maybe parallel to the other edge of your mat. I'll invite you to stretch your arms long out from the shoulders in a T-shape here, if that feels comfortable. And just sink in and breathe for a couple of breaths in this warrior two. Inhale, breath. Exhale, breath. Allowing the breath and body sensations to guide you here. When you are ready to move out, you might gently lengthen your front leg. Perhaps another inhale and exhale breath if you choose. And if you haven't already, gently lengthen your front leg long. So the front leg is long and active, but the knee is still a little bent, not locked out in that knee joint. And we'll hinge at the waist, tipping forward, maybe resting the forearm on the thigh as the top hand stretches skyward into triangle pose. You might choose to walk your bottom hand down toward the shin or toward the foot or maybe even the earth. If it feels good, you might roll your gaze up toward your top thumb for a few breaths here in triangle pose. Noticing the sensations of the body here. 
notice if there are any adjustments or choices you can make to find a pose that feels good in your body today as is possible. And rolling the gaze down toward the front big toe if you like. We're lifting the torso up and out of that triangle. You might choose to bend into that front knee back to warrior two. We'll take an inhale breath here in warrior two. Exhale breath, head to your triangle pose of choice. Inhale, stay here. Exhale, move back to your warrior two if you like. Inhale here. Exhale to triangle pose if you like. Inhale, stay. Exhale to your warrior two. You might choose to do a few more flows this way if you like. Inhale, breath. Exhale, breath to triangle pose. Inhale, you might hold this triangle momentarily. Exhale, back to your warrior two. Perhaps one more this way. Inhale, breath, warrior two. Exhale, breath, triangle pose. Inhale, stay. And exhale to your warrior two. We'll pause here. Soften the arms down to the sides. And if it feels good, maybe heel toe your back foot in until you can step back up to the front edge of your mat in your mountain pose. Pause here for a breath or two. And we'll take that whole series on the second side. So this time, we'll, we'll start with that same flow. Inhale the hands wide and high overhead, as high as feels comfortable, if that feels good. Exhale, sit back into your chair pose of choice. And second side, the left foot stays this time. The left foot stays. And the right foot might step back one or several steps until you can rotate your back foot and plant the back foot down to the mat. You might need to heel toe your foot out a bit. And the back foot could be angled in slightly or perhaps parallel to the back edge of your mat if you're using a mat today. And check in if your front knee could align over your front ankle. Perhaps stretching the arms long into a T-shape if that feels good. We'll stay here in this warrior two for a few breaths. You are welcome to move out whenever your body and breath guide you to take a break. When you're ready to move out, you might simply lengthen your front leg. A few inhale and exhale breaths, softening the shoulders down from the ears if that's possible and accessible today. You might choose another inhale and exhale breath here in warrior two. And then maybe lengthening the front leg. Now the front knee is lengthened, but it's not locked out. There's still a little bend in my front knee. And you, if that feels good for you, you might make that same choice. We're going to tip the torso forward, maybe resting bottom forearm onto thigh. And maybe the top hand stretches skyward in triangle pose. You could choose to reach the hand down, maybe to the shin or foot or even the floor. You might roll your gaze toward your top thumb here in triangle pose. And we'll pause here for just a few more breaths. You are welcome to make any other choices, adjustments, or even entirely different posture here. So you can find as much benefit for your body, your practice today. Maybe one more inhale and exhale breath if you're here in triangle. And looking down toward your front big toe, we'll lift the torso up. 
and move back into our warrior two, if you like, bending into the front knee, stretching the arms long if that feels good. And if you like flowing with me here, inhale and warrior two, exhale, lengthening the front leg and moving into your triangle pose of choice. Inhale, you might stay here. And exhale, moving back to warrior two. Inhale, stay. Exhale to triangle pose. Inhale, pause here in triangle if that feels good. And exhale to warrior two. Maybe two more rounds this way. Inhale and warrior two. Exhale, moving into your triangle pose of choice. Or perhaps another posture. Inhale, stay. Exhale to warrior two. Maybe one more flow this way. Inhaling in warrior two. Exhale to triangle pose, your triangle pose today. Inhale, you might choose to stay. Exhale, return, warrior two. From here, softening the arms down by the sides. You might choose to heel toe the back foot in until you can step back to the front edge of the mat in your mountain pose. Taking an inhale and an exhale breath. Inhale, we'll stretch the hands wide overhead as high as feels comfortable. Exhale, sitting back into your chair pose and we'll pause here in chair for a moment. It'll be the right foot that stays, right foot stays and left foot steps back, left foot steps back here. This time we'll allow the back knee to lower down, back knee to lower down. Pause for a moment here, maybe allow the top of the back foot to rest down on the mat and the front knee to align over the front ankle here. If it's possible, let your hand, your left hand, ground down to the mat if that's possible today left hand grounding down to the mat. And then take your right hand up to the sky in a lunge twist here, lunge twist. If the hand doesn't reach the mat, you could use a yoga block or a book or another prop, a chair to ground your hand down in this twist. You might choose to circle the top arm. Inhale, circling the arm back and down to the floor and circling the hand forward and back up in lunge twist. Inhale the hand back and down to the floor and exhale the hand forward and up. Maybe two more big circles through the top arm if that feels good for your body today. And maybe one more circle. Pause with the hand at the top this time in your lunge twist. You might choose another transition, but if you'd like to join me, we'll ground the left hand to the mat and heel toe your right foot off the mat or off to the side of your space until you can swing your leg around and land here in a side plank position. Here in side plank, you could choose to lift your bottom knee and lengthen both legs, if that feels good. You could keep your bottom knee grounded, lift the top leg if you like. Maybe just one more breath here. We're coming back to lunge. That top right leg circles around here to the front. We can even heel toe the foot 
maybe use the hand to bring the foot back to our center lunge. Tuck your back toe if it's not tucked. And we'll step to our chair pose at the top of the mat. Inhale, breath here. And exhale to mountain pose. We'll take that same series on the other side. Beginning with a sweep of the arms. Inhale the arms wide overhead if that feels good. Exhale, sit back to your chair. Pause here for a breath in your chair pose. Now it'll be the left foot that stays, left foot stays, and the right foot steps back this time, one or several steps. This time, perhaps lowering the back knee to the mat. We'll pause, perhaps flattening the top of the foot to the mat in back. And check in, see if you can't bring your front knee over your front ankle in this lunge pose. Perhaps stretch the right hand this time down to the mat. Or again, you're welcome to use a book, a yoga block, a chair to bring the ground up to the hand. Left hand, left hand this time stretches up to the sky. So my left leg is forward and my left hand is up toward the sky in a lunge twist. Same option here to circle the arm. Inhale, we'll stretch that top hand back and down toward the floor. And exhale forward and back up to the twist. Inhale, you might reach the hand back and down to the floor. Exhale forward and up. Just allow your breath to guide you through maybe two more circles. Circling the left arm this time and noticing the sensation or perhaps no sensation here in the left shoulder. We'll all meet at the top of this twist, left fingers stretching skyward. And you can take any other transition you like, or you might join me by dropping the right hand to the mat, heel towing the left foot off of the mat or toward the side of your space until you can swing your left leg around and behind you to land in a side plank position. Here in side plank, you could choose to lift the bottom knee if you like. You could keep the bottom knee grounded and lift the top leg instead. Whatever side plank you might be choosing or not choosing today, we'll take another breath, another inhale and an exhale. Then we'll swing that top left leg. Top left leg swings back around and maybe we heel toe that foot. Maybe even use the hand to walk the foot back to center lunge. And this time we will step back to a tabletop hands and knees. Tabletop hands and knees. Here in tabletop, we'll ground the hands underneath the shoulders and knees underneath the hips. Just momentarily, we'll take an inhale breath here. Exhale breath where we'll shift forward into a plank position and hold. Here in plank, I'm on my knees. You could tuck your toes and lift to the feet. You might also choose to come down to the elbows or make any other changes or adjustments that feel right for your body and breath today. So this practice can be nourishing and helpful for you. So whatever plank pose you're choosing, maybe take another inhale breath and exhale. I'll invite you to slowly lower to your belly, perhaps hugging the elbows close into the body all the way down to the belly and pause here at the bottom. Cobra pose, you might flip the tops of the feet down to the mat if that feels good and then lift the chest away from the mat or earth. Drop the shoulders from the ears here in Cobra. Lifting the sternum or chest away from the mat. Gently lowering the shoulders from the ears and grounding the tops of the feet. Maybe another breath or two here. 
then any way you like. We'll head back to plank pose if you choose. So you might press into the hands and come to plank slowly. Again, plank could be on knees, feet, could be on elbows. We'll maybe take another breath or two here, firming the muscles of the abdomen to support the low back, engaging through the glutes. Maybe take an inhale breath here and exhale slow lower all the way to the belly for that cobra pose. Just one more cobra. Inhale, lift the heart away from the mat and pause here, taking some deep breaths as is possible. You might choose to move out of cobra or choose a different posture if that's going to be more beneficial for your practice today allowing the breath and body to be your guide. Maybe one more inhale and exhale breath. And ease out of this cobra. If you haven't moved out already, I'll invite you to roll over to your back any way you'd like to get there for a full body stretch. Hands and feet lengthening out to opposite walls. If it feels good, you might draw the knees in toward the chest. If it's accessible, hands might wrap behind the thighs or even on top of the shins or rest somewhere else on the lower body or torso. If it feels good, perhaps a little rock from side to side. And gently lowering the feet to the mat, knees stay bent. We'll ground the feet into the mat. Rest the arms by the sides. So your palms are facing down toward the mat. Maybe draw the shoulder blades underneath you. Setting up for a bridge pose. We'll take an inhale breath here. And exhale breath, press the hips up to the sky in bridge pose here. We're pressing into the feet, engaging through the glutes and pressing into the backs of the arms and palms to feel supported here, easy through the neck and back of the head. Just noticing the sensations or lack of sensations here in the hips and the chest, the front of the body opening. I'll invite you to gently move out, lowering the hips back to the mat. Arms might come to a cactus arm shape. So the elbows are bent at about 90 degrees and upper arms are stretching right out from the shoulders. We'll drop the knees to the right. For an easy twist. Here, I'll invite you to adjust shoulders, hips, knees, head. So this twist can feel easy and restful. When you're ready perhaps bringing the knees center and then allowing the knees to fall the other way. And pause here once again, an opportunity to adjust knees, hips, shoulders, head, neck. So this twist can feel supported and easy in the body. A nourishing release here for the hips, the spine. Here in this twist, perhaps coming back to the breath. Breathing into the abdomen as is accessible and possible today. Imagining the breath, filling the lungs from the abdomen all the way to the collarbones. And then emptying the lungs from collarbones to abdomen.
taking breaths that are comfortable and accessible today. Gently drawing the knees center. We'll take a big full body stretch here, hands and feet lengthening to opposite walls. If you choose, you might move into our final pose, Shavasana relaxation, lying on your back with the arms by the sides, palms up. If you prefer to find a comfortable seat or a side lying position, you might simply roll to one side, maybe the left side. Maybe use the bottom arm as a pillow momentarily Bending the knees for a little support here. You could remain in side lying position if that feels comfortable. Or you might choose to press up to a comfortable seat. Maybe even finding a wall or a chair for support if that feels better for your body today. Whatever posture you're choosing for final relaxation, take a moment to adjust and notice if you can become even 10% more comfortable in that particular posture. And here in our final rest, if it's comfortable, you might gently blink the eyes closed or simply allow the gaze to soften. This pose is meant to be one of integration to allow our physical practice to be fully integrated into our experience and to allow our body and mind to come back to rest. So here, if it feels comfortable and if you like, you might choose to follow along with my voice, with a gentle guided relaxation, or you might choose another practice that feels releasing and relaxing. If at any moment you begin to feel activated, you might open your eyes if your eyes were closed and maybe come to a seat, becoming more fully aware of your surroundings and the experience of breath and body. As we practice this guided relaxation, it's normal and typical for the mind to wander away. So as you notice the mind has wandered, you might simply choose to guide the mind back to my words and instructions, or simply guide the attention back to the breath and body here in your relaxation pose. I'll invite you to bring awareness to the whole right leg sensing into the sensations of the right leg from right hip to right toes. You may also simply notice a lack of sensation here. Here in the right leg, if it's accessible and possible, you might contract or tense the muscles in the right leg maybe flexing the right toes back toward the shin. You might even choose to lift the leg away from the earth. And take an inhale breath here and then exhale, allow the right leg to come back to a resting, relaxing position. And if you like, moving your attention to the left leg, 
the left leg from hip to left toes. Noticing the sensations or lack of sensations here in the left leg. If it's accessible here, perhaps tensing or engaging the muscles of the left leg, maybe even drawing the left toes back toward the shin. Maybe lifting the leg an inch or two or a few centimeters away from the floor. And then when you're ready, release that left leg back to a resting position. I'm sensing in here to both legs, noticing if there is any sense of relaxation or release here in the legs. I'll invite you now to bring awareness into the torso from hips to shoulders, the front, back, sides of the torso. Noticing what's here. Bringing the breath into the whole of the torso as is possible. And then letting go of your awareness here in the torso. Perhaps choosing to move your awareness to the right arm. The right arm from shoulder to fingers. You might even choose to gently make a fist and then contract or tense all the muscles in the right arm. Perhaps lifting the right arm gently away from the earth for a moment or two. And when you're ready, releasing the arm back to a resting state. And now moving that awareness over to the left arm. Noticing what's here in the left arm. Maybe choosing to make a fist on the left side and in gently engaging or contracting the muscles in the left arm, feeling that contraction, perhaps lifting the arm a few inches or centimeters away from the earth or away from the body. And then allowing the left arm to come back to a released position. And bringing awareness to both arms as is possible. Noticing if there is any sense of relaxation or release here. Now bringing awareness to the tops of the shoulders and the neck. Maybe gently drawing the shoulders up to the ears on purpose. Gentle lift of the shoulders. And then softening the shoulders down away from the ears once again. And awareness to the neck, throat in front, the sides of the neck, the back, the head, perhaps the contact your head is making on the floor, a chair, the wall, and the muscles of the face, the space between the eyes, the eyelids, nose, lips. You might choose to very gently contract the muscles of the face, maybe gently squeezing the eyelids closed, pursing the lips, maybe even gently, maybe gently closing the jaw, feeling just an easy contraction or tension through the face muscles. And then when you're ready, letting that go and noticing in the field of your awareness, if there is any additional sense of relaxation here in the neck, head, 
or face. And coming back to the breath. Imagining the breath traveling into the whole body, out through the toes and fingers, out to the crown of the head, gently breathing into the whole body. I'll be silent for just another minute here as we continue our practice. If you're ready to move out of your practice, you might bring some deeper inhales and exhale breaths into the body, opening the eyes gently if your eyes were closed, perhaps bringing some movement into fingers and toes. And if you're not in a sideline position, You might move to that sideline position and then make your way to a seat ultimately. Finding a tall, comfortable seat. Take an inhale breath and an exhale breath. Thank you for joining me in this practice for your own health and well being. Gratitude. <laughs>